China fears more devastating floods as Yangtze River's levels rise again. River nears crest, threatening further damage from seasonal floods that have been especially severe this year. Waterways breaking their banks and reports of a record rate of flow in the reservoir behind the upstream Three Gorges Dam. Engorged with more heavy rains, China's mighty Yangtze River is cresting again, bringing fears of further destruction as seasonal floods that already have left more than 140 people dead or missing have grown in force since last month. The rains are putting renewed pressure on the massive Three Gorges Dam that straddles the river upstream of the central city of Wuhan in Hubei province. The official Xinhua News Agency said the rate of flow in the reservoir behind the dam would hit a record for the year on Friday night, at 55,000 cubic meters, almost 600,000 cubic feet, per second. If you find this video to be informative, consider to give the channel a subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Please leave a comment, like and share. The inflow peaked on Saturday at 61,000 cubic meters per second, before easing to 46,000 by Sunday night, Xinhua later reported. Rivers in the Yangtze system have broken their banks in places. A helicopter was used to drop stones into a breach to block the inrushing waters in Hubei. Crews were dispatched with poles to probe waterlogged embankments for weakness and thousands of sandbags were being filled in preparation for more breaches that would need to be swiftly closed. Water rose to the level of first-floor windows in exposed ancient towns and crops were completely inundated around the vast Poyang Lake, a network of waterways that empty into the Yangtze below Wuhan. On the lake's eastern edge in Jiangxi province, 45-year-old Su Yangxiang said his village of Liufang had been without running water or electricity for almost a week. Although it was time for the rice harvest, that crop, along with cotton, corn, and beans, was now underwater. We do not have one inch of dry ground. It has all been flooded, Su, who sells pork for a living, was quoted as saying on the official newspaper China Youth Daily's microblog. Flooding since the beginning of the month has forced evacuations of about 1.8 million people in 24 provinces, mainly in southern China. Direct losses attributed to flooding are estimated at more than 49 billion yuan, 7 billion US dollars, according to the Ministry of Emergency Management. Flood waters reached as high as 1.4 meters, almost 5 feet, in Linshui County in the southwestern province of Sichuan, the ministry's rescue department reported. Torrential rain also caused three landslides on Thursday in a town in the mountainous municipality of Chungqing, upstream on the Yangtze, leaving six dead, the Chungqing Emergency Management Bureau said. The bodies had been found by Friday evening after more than 200 people were dispatched for search and rescue. The rainfall in the town of Dunhao totaled 39 centimeters, 15 inches, the bureau said. Seasonal flooding strikes large parts of China each year, especially in its central and southern regions, but conditions this year have been especially bad. Major cities have thus far been spared but concerns have risen over Wuhan and other downstream metropolises that are home to tens of millions of people. China's worst floods in recent years were in 1998, when more than 2,000 people died and almost 3 million homes were destroyed, mostly along the Yangtze. The Three Gorges Dam was built mainly to generate electricity, but the government also said it was expected to mitigate catastrophic flooding. Stream rainfall has increased dramatically. Over the past 60 years, the number of days of heavy rain has gone up by 3.9% a decade, according to Song. Aside from the rainfall, human behavior has also contributed to the severity of the floods in China. Fan Xiao a geologist with the Sichuan Geology and Mineral Bureau, said decades of land reclamation and dam building on nearby rivers had reduced the area and volume of Poyang Lake, the country's largest freshwater lake which is located in Jiangxi. Some 1,300 square kilometers, 502 sq miles, of land was reclaimed there from 1954 to 1998, which caused the surface area of the lake to shrink from 5,160 square kilometers, 1,992 sq miles, to 3,860 square kilometers, 
1,490 sq miles, according to a study by University of Alabama geographer David Shankman. Environmental volunteer John Wenbin said he had investigated illegal land reclamation activities at Tualan, another lake in the province. He said some of the projects around the lake were still underway last year, even though they had been ordered to stop by environmental inspectors from Beijing. There are many similar cases, Zhang said, adding that Tualan Lake had also shrunk in size, reducing its storage capacity for floodwaters. Thank you for watching the video.